Hello guys, it's Dan here from Dan's Tech, and in today's video guys, I'm going to be bringing you part 2 of my how to build a gaming PC for 2016. Uh, as you guys know, this has been my sister's gaming PC. Now, this uh, this video is going to focus on just uh, you know finishing off the build. It is built, but I just want to show you how to install the operating system and also the drivers. And then, yeah, we are also going to go over some benchmarks and, um, yeah... I'm going to show you how the system performs. As I said, £300, it's not the highest budget in the world for a PC, but, you know, £300 just, you know, just for the hardware. You are getting a reasonable system here, and to be honest, you know, it can play most games at 1080p. A 750Ti graphic card is not half bad, even though, you know, it's not exactly the newest card in the world. Even though it is actually a Maxwell card, it was first-gen Maxwell, so... Yes, but I suppose you can call the 750Ti actually a GTX 940, even though I think that probably exists, but you know what I mean. And now, let's kind of get into the video and um, yeah, let me again show you how to install the OS and the drivers. So picking up from part one, now that the PC is built, you want to be flipping the power switch on the power supply on the back and clicking the good old power button. Now if you see a light and you know the fans do start spinning, chances are your PC has been built correctly and um, yeah, all, all I can say really is congratulations on building your system. Now once you do click the um, you know the power button, uh, you'll see your PC will boot and you should see a disk boot failure error, something on the lands. This error is completely normal and then what you want to do is plug in a flash drive or the DVD with the windows on and um, yeah, get on with installing the operating system. Now installing an operating system is rather easy, these days you just want to be spamming the next button, uh, selecting the drive of which you want to install the OS and then clicking finish. It's very very simple, you've only really got to choose a language and um, you know your keyboard format and that's it. Now once your Windows is installed you're going to be installing some drivers and installing drivers is relatively easy. So you're going to be looking at the motherboard box of which uh, you know you you got your motherboard from and um, yeah you want to be typing this code into Google and downloading all the applicable drivers. Now I recommend downloading every single driver that's on the website available to download and the ones that fail, well they fail and you don't necessarily need them for your particular PC. Now once you've installed all the drivers the next thing to do is to install the graphics driver and this is the last thing that you need to be doing before you know you install personal programs say like VLC Media Player or AVG Antivirus for example. So you want to be heading up to Nvidia's website to install the graphic driver or if you have an AMD card all of which you know this build didn't contain but yeah if you have an AMD card you want to be going to the AMD website and downloading, downloading, downloading yeah, the driver from that site if you do you know indeed have an AMD card. And that's pretty much it. On to the benchmarks now. So um. I didn't run as many benchmarks as he intended to, um, but when I was around at my sister's, um, you know, I did manage to run about four games. So yeah, without further ado, let's uh, yeah, let's jump into that and um, yeah, let me guys show you how this system performs. So first up, we have um, Project Cars running this at 1080p on medium settings. We get 75 FPS. I was impressed actually at how well this game played. So yeah, 75 FPS at medium, and I will say all benchmarks are 1080p. There we are. Next up, we ran Bioshock Infinite at very high settings at 1080p, and we did get around 55 FPS on average. So yeah, this game did also run pretty damn well. Next up, on some more, uh, shall I say, demanding title, Fallout 4. Running this at medium, we get an average of 38 FPS. It's quite funny because the NVIDIA, um, the, yeah, the NVIDIA GeForce Experience said that this game didn't re... Well, the PC didn't meet minimum... Uh, recommendations or, or should I say specs to run this game but this game did run very well on medium and you know if you was wanting more than say 38 fps you know you can bump the game down to low or kind of uh, fine tune the game so it's somewhere in between low and medium there we are but yeah you can play Fallout 4 on this pc next up we have euro truck simulator 2 running this at ultra we got 88 fps played very very well this game and to be honest uh, it's not really demanding so um yeah, I kind of expected that in the first place. Now bumping up uh, all the settings, uh, running this game at ultra but changing the scaling to 200% did bring the frame rate down to 45 but you know this game does look a lot better when you're running it at 200% scaling. Just tax the system but still 45 FPS is very nice and you know the game does look a lot better so in my eyes it is definitely worth it. Hello anyway guys, uh, that's been the benchmark, so uh, one last one I want to show is the synthetic benchmark. Uh, this is the Valley benchmark, so you can see on the screen the scores, and um, yeah, that's about it. So guys, there were the benchmarks, you know, we did finish off on the benchmarks there for the system. Now, this PC does perform pretty damn well at 1080p, you know, you are able to play games like, you know, Battlefield 4, you know, Battlefield Hardline, you know, some games uh, like... 
Sims 4 or all that kind of stuff. You know, modern titles. Uh, not necessarily the most demanding titles that I have tested, but it's just modern titles that, you know, the average person will play. And I know my sister will play definitely quite a bit of uh, Sims 4. But um, yeah, in general, very nice system. Uh, you know, the 750 Ti is a pretty good card. Um, it does come in at about £100. So, you know, it's about half price of what, you know, my, uh, you know, 770 were. But. To be honest, pretty damn good card. I can't really complain, actually. You know, you are getting a lot of performance here for what you're paying, and if anything, that's what you're really looking at. There's no point spending, you know, tons of money and not getting too much performance. And that may that mainly is why my system is not completely overkill. I mean, I, I could have, like, three nanody TIs if I wanted to, but the reason I am going to is because it's not worth it. I don't have enough money to do that. <laughs> for a start and I'd, I'd, I just think, I mean, what's the point? The price performance is just ridiculous, you're just doing it, you know, just because it's, nah, it's silly, it's really not worth it and to be honest you don't get that many more frames, you know, by sticking loads of cards in SLI um, or, you know, cards in Crossfire if you do, you know, you know, get AMD cards, you know, there we are. And anyway, guys, yeah, you know, thanks for watching. Um, all parts uh, for this PC, and um, you know, you will find Amazon UK and Amazon USA links in the description. And um, yeah, without further ado, guys, you know, thank you for watching. Uh, please feel free to like, comment, and also subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.